Say no nukes. All right. So I've uh, participated and spoken in many different capacities at these rallies over the years, but this is the first time that I've been asked to give the call to action. So I just want to briefly reflect on why we're here and where we are. In an essay written after the round of Indian and Pakistani nuclear tests in 1998, Dr. Amulya Reddy, a prominent Indian scientist, described his visit in 1999 to the former Nazi concentration camps in Poland. The most powerful impression that persisted was of detailed engineering resulting in the immense technological complex created for the purpose of killing human beings. The meticulous organization and rigorous management were characteristic of mega industries. The camps were gigantic and horrific factories of death. The main gate of Auschwitz displayed the inscription, Work Brings Freedom. Perhaps technology completely decoupled from values would have been more appropriate. Walking through the scene of genocide in Auschwitz, one begins to think of historical parallels. In particular, one wonders whether there is a difference between the Nazi concentration camps and the development of the atom bombs at Los Alamos, the test at Alamogordo, and the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Of course, the Allies in World War II were not pursuing the final solution of extermination of any particular religious group. But with regard to the scale of the killing, the recruitment of capable minds, the harnessing of science and technology, the extent of organization, the resort to efficient project management methods, and the choice of targets to maximize annihilation of Japanese civilians, the Manhattan Project and its follow-ups were like 